Network notes the rates of sexual, physical, and verbal violence across Canada are at least three times higher for young women and girls living with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And violence prevention agencies are simply not given the proper resources. Mm -hmm. Women with disabilities have been completely forgotten. On this International Women's Day, will this government commit to taking leadership to address the enormous gaps in violent prevention policy and program delivery for this vulnerable population. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my honourable colleague for her question and her tireless advocacy on behalf of Canadians with Disabilities. I'd also like to thank the Disabled Women's Network for their, their advocacy and, Mr. Speaker, for pointing out that the majority of people living with disabilities are women, and among women in Canada, women with disabilities live with the highest rates of violence, the lowest incomes, and highest rates of unemployment. That's why I'm very proud of the work done by the current and former ministers of status of women on gender-based violence, drawing upon the work of Dawn, and also very proud of the accessibility legislation that we are developing to make sure that every Canadian with a disability is included in society. Thank you.